One thing you might need to do with the clips that you've made for your science film is go back in in the edit and color correct them to make sure the color is the same across the entire film. So let's have a look at how we do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got my clips already loaded up. This is all my B-roll that I shot on the day. This is up in the, in the Alps. And there's one in particular that I want to color correct to make sure it looked a bit more natural. And that's the point of color correction isn't to kind of add grades or stylistic choices to it. It's to make it look as if it was on the day uh, to make it look more natural. So with this one, uh, you can see I kind of caught tomorrow a bit off guard and asked them to look up into the mountains all stoic. And to me, this looks a little bit dark and a little bit too blue. So I want to color correct it. A few different ways that we can do that. We can actually add some Lumetri presets in down here, which are a color grading option. But the best thing to do is go up to the workspaces all up here. And these are a good way of kind of going through them one by one, editing before you uh, color and then effects and all the rest. So we'll go into the color option just up here. And this is going to ask me to, to do different things. Now, with this, we've got these Lumetri scopes up here. And when you change things, these will change too. Right, so we're going to um, change little bits about this clip. I said the brightness and the uh, color and the temperature of the color. Uh, and you'll see these change. So if I change, for example, the exposure, you'll see the, this entire thing, the reds, the greens and the blues all go all the way up to the top and then all the way to the bottom again. So these scopes on this side really show me um, that the blue parts are really stand out the red parts don't, that means I got a color imbalance. I'm gonna try and get those a little bit closer. Um, but also when I push these up towards the top, you see data starts to get lost as I crush them against the top of that graph. And then there's some down in the bottom down here that are very low to the bottom. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna work from the top. We're gonna to ignore the LUTs at the moment. Um, those are something a bit different. We just wanna, we just wanna color correct for now. Uh, and we can do that by changing the temperature. Now I can just use this little eyedropper, the white balance selector. So if I click on that, luckily she's got a white helmet on. That really helps. So I can drag this across or click on it. There we go, and then click on that. And that does a pretty good job at kind of balancing those colors back out again. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, you can see it's maxed out the orange over there. So I got the color really wrong on the day. I didn't change my white balance properly. So if I just undo that uh, and I can show you the same again, it's going to change the temperature and the tint. So you can see what it does. If I change these, you can see where the blue changes uh, up there. We want to get them a bit closer together, the reds and the blues into there and I maxed out uh, that little bit of change in the tint as well and that looks good so then it still looks a little bit dark you can see all my uh, all this down here in the, the shadows of the dark so I want to lift all that up so I'm going to push those up slightly uh, and then same for the contrast I want to get those colors a little bit closer together so I'm going to add that these this highlight up here it's a little bit too light for me, so I'm going to bring that down. And that's what color correction is really. It's just kind of like going back and forth and going, what looks good? What, what looks natural to me? Uh, and I'm going to raise it across and just make sure it looks natural and right. Next thing, uh, all the way down here at the bottom, is just the saturation. I just want to make sure that the saturation is okay uh, and the colors pop. But what we're going to do is going to go into Creative and go to Vibrance. That's more of an intelligent... Um, saturation it brings up the more muted tones and and pushes the things that need to be pushed it doesn't push the the entire thing overall so we're just going to add the vibrance up in there you can go through this entire thing you can look at the curves you can play with those and uh, hsl and and whatever else lumetri uh, has a lot of good things in it um, it can get quite complicated but just for regular color correction the basic correction and the creative is probably all you're going to need and make sure that it's exactly how you would like it to be and how it looked in camera or on the day. And that's the point, right? Like if you can get this right in camera as much as possible, choose your white balance well, choose your uh, exposure well as well and just make sure that it's, it's right. But then if in a pinch you need to come in later on and make them look, make two clips look similar or just make it look more natural, then that's how you do it in Adobe Premiere Pro.